Hey, YouTube, it's Hake here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, live stream your computer, desktop, Twitch for free. And, uh, I just want to tell you what software that I'm using to do this. I'm using a software called OBS. It's available for free by doing a Google search for this. It's, uh, free software. Here's a look at their website here. And, uh, there's a lot you can do with the software. You can record gameplay for like PC games or your 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 desktop or whatever you want. So in this video we're going to be showing you how to record your desktop with open broadcast software. So what you want to do is you want to download yourself a copy of open broadcast software and install it to the computer. And I already have that stuff installed so I'm just going to exit it out of that. So once you install uh, the software, I'm going to we'll just take a look at it here. And uh, what you want to do when you first get this software is, is, uh, is, uh, it's going to look like this, okay? You're going to, it's going to look like this. So what you want to do is you want to head into settings. And you want to, uh, make a profile, call it your username. I'm just going to remove my current profile. So what you want to do is under set and profile, you just want to make a name. Just make it your name and click add. And then you want to click encoding. Make sure it's selected to what it is, like encoder. Make sure it's at X264. Make sure use CBR is checked. Enable CBR handling. Uh, bit, max bit rate, I have that at 1000 by default audio codec uh, that's what I have mine so you can come in here and change this to what you want this is just what I'm using so uh, you know make sure that your parameters are like what I have because that's what I recommend that's just what I use uh, now for some people you may find it works better using different parameters but this is the parameters that I use so uh, make sure you make your parameters like what I have here come down to broadcast sentence here this is where it's very very important um, you want to click live stream you want to make sure you have twitch selected and then you want to go on FMS URL make sure it's the lo closest location to where you're at so in my case uh, Seattle Washington is the closest uh, now this doesn't really matter what the FMS URL is not what matters, but matters is the stream key. So you need to get your, your Twitch stream key, and to do that, you have to go to Twitch. And uh, just do a Google search for Twitch. Alright. So when you're on Twitch's website, make sure you're signed into your Twitch account, and then click your username, and then come down into uh, the dashboard here. And then down here, you're going to go into stream key. And uh, in here, you're going to click Show Stream Key. And you're going to copy down your stream key. And when you copy down your stream key, you're going to click, uh, you're going to paste the stream key into here. And uh, make sure it's on Auto Connect. Make sure the settings are like this, like what I have here. Next, you're going to click down to Video. Oh, you have to click Apply. Hang on. You have to click apply and then you want to click video so in here you can change the, the, the resolution so this is the resolution that I have is 1360 by 768 now you can change this to what you want you can cut make a customized resolution uh, d uh, downscale resolution um, you know you, you can go ahead and change it here this is what I'm using um, you just have to play around with it, whatever works best for you, and your frames per second. Uh, it doesn't really matter. This is just what I'm using, alright? You guys can change your resolution to what you want. Under audio, you have your audio selection, so you have your speakers. If you want to record audio, you know, you can choose your microphone if you want to record your microphone as well. So uh, keep that in mind. I'm just going to keep it to default because by default, that will find your microphone. That will find your uh, computer audio. And uh, that's that. So uh, once that's set up, uh, you're ready to uh, live stream into Twitch. So uh, what you want to do is you want to... Uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, actually right-click on an open area under Sources here and click Add... Uh, Click add a monitor capture. 
and we'll call this monitor one because there's only one monitor connected but uh we're just going to just add that and now it's going to choose monitor one capture mouse cursor and just 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 leave it at what it is and click OK and click uh, preview stream all right and now by previewing the stream you can now see your desktop here now it's going to look funky because we're having the you know the uh, software open on this window it looks like these boxes are like that but that's when you minimize it the problem will be resolved all right so um, at this point forward all you have to do to start live streaming your computer to twitch is start is click stop preview and click start screen stop start screen streaming and now at this time you are now streaming to twitch so if I were to go to twitch and I were to go into my channel you will see here that I'm now recording my laptop screen to twitch it's that simple to do and uh, if you enjoy my videos uh, please remember to comment write and subscribe and it's going to load up twitch you can see that I am now live streaming my computer screen to twitch so that's how I do it and uh, remember to comment, write, and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Thanks for watching.